When should you remove a fibroid? Hello, my name is Dr. Selva. I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Makuta Medical Center, Malacca, Malaysia. One common question asked about fibroid is, when should I remove a fibroid if I am trying to get pregnant? This can sometimes be a difficult question to answer. I see many patients with fibroids who get pregnant and deliver a healthy full-term baby. I also see many patients who have difficulties in conceiving and they have fibroids. In certain situations, surgery to remove the fibroid is absolutely necessary, whereas in other situations, the doctors are unsure whether removal of a fibroid will actually improve the chances of pregnancy. Firstly, let me explain the different types of fibroids. This diagram shows the different types of fibroids that we see. They are basically divided into three common types. Submucous fibroids, intramural fibroids, subserous fibroids. Other rare types of fibroids are pedunculated and cervical fibroids. All doctors will agree that submucous fibroids, however small, must be removed. If the fibroid is protruding out into the endometrial cavity, it will affect fertility and also may cause miscarriage. Usually patients with submucous fibroids will also experience heavy menses. Most doctors will agree that we do not need to remove subserous fibroids. These fibroids are the ones that are found at the surface of the uterus and usually does not affect fertility unless they are too big. How big is big is a difficult question to answer. I have seen women with subserous fibroid bigger than 5 cm conceiving and delivering a baby easily. However, if the fibroid is larger than 5 cm and you are having difficulty to conceive, then you may want to consider surgery. Similarly, pedunculated subserous fibroids can be left alone. The only worry is that sometimes this pedunculated fibroid can twist causing torsion with pain and so may require surgery. Suggesting surgery for intramural fibroids is more difficult. If the fibroid is more than 5 cm and you're not getting pregnant, then it is sensible to do surgery to remove these fibroids. However, if the fibroid is less than 5 cm, research shows that fibroids more than even 2 cm will affect fertility and even IVF results are lower in women with such small fibroids. Many doctors will find it difficult to suggest surgery on such small fibroids. One option is to shrink these fibroids. There was a drug called Asmaya which was used to shrink fibroids, but it has been withdrawn because of serious side effect called liver failure. Another method of shrinking these small fibroids is to use high intensity focus ultrasound or HIFU. In this method, sound waves are brought to a tight focus in the fibroid, heating up the tissue in the fibroid, causing the fibroid tissue to die, leading to destruction and shrinkage of the fibroid. After a few months, the fibroids will shrink and the patient can attempt to conceive. If you have fibroids and you are having difficulty in conceiving, you should consult your doctor to determine where the fibroid is located and what is the size of the fibroid. You will then have to make a decision whether that fibroid needs to be removed. If you do not want to undergo surgery or the fibroid is too small for surgery, another option is to consider HIFU. If you have enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to this channel. I'll be discussing on common questions asked regarding women's health. Bye.